The Phillies take on the Pirates, 7.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Philadelphia Phillies are minus 135, totals 9, juice to the over. And if you like the Pirates in an upset uh, win at home here, they're plus a buck 15 for some money line cash. Pittsburgh's also minus 140, catching the one and a half on the run line. Will Crow's on the mound for Pittsburgh. Vince Velasquez for Philadelphia. And following a 4-1 day on my Patreon website yesterday, that's going to make it three straight winning days for us in a row on that Patreon page. Now, we're currently 3-0 and in our last $3.99 daily best plays. We're also 7-3 straight up in our last 10 in that very same category. And we're also a perfect 3-0 and in our last three Major League Baseball tier package picks on that Patreon page as well. We currently have over 950 members who are signed up and active on that Patreon site. And if you want to see which one of these YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally, link for that site is in the description section below. That's patreon.com slash Brock Page. Now the Phillies are coming off an exhausting doubleheader yesterday. They split with Washington, but had to go into extra inning heroics in a Game two following a, a, a rain delay. So certainly a long day for them yesterday. The Phillies have lost their last two straight on the road, four and six straight up in their last 10 at any location. The Phillies were also winning just 40% of their ball games away from home. This Philadelphia lineup is averaging nearly double digit strikeouts a game at the plate. Meanwhile, pitching wise, they're in the bottom 10 in the league and hits allowed on the road. Vinny Velasquez is just 3-5 on this season, 5.54 ERA and a 1.43 whip. The Phillies are taking on a Pittsburgh squad who ranks in the top three in the majors in fewest strikeouts at the plate. Brian Reynolds is eighth in the majors in batting average. The outfielders hitting 309 with 18 home runs. Reynolds is also in the top 15 in the big leagues with a 9.11 OPS. Despite a handful of rough outings for Will Crow, the righties struck out 62 batters and averages just about a strikeout an inning. Now, total-wise, the Pirates did go 8-2 to the over in their last 10 outings, 4-0 to the over in their last four at PNC Park. Meanwhile, the Phillies went 60% to the over in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Pittsburgh Pirates plus 1.5 in the over nine runs. Next ball game, Cubs, Nats, 705 East. This game's currently off the board. Trevor Williams, possible for Chicago. John Lester, probable for Washington. Now, Lester's just 3 and 5 on this season. 502 ERA and a 1.59 whip. It also appears as if the uh, Washington organization is uh, looking to uh, reload. They're certainly. Uh, you know, enticing the idea of unloading talent. Uh, their two best players uh, in Scherzer and Schwarber are on the trading block right now. Washington's leading hitter in Trey Turner, he's also on the IL. The Nationals have won just 22 out of 47 against the National League at home. They're also in the bottom 10 in home scoring. Meanwhile, pitching-wise, this Nationals pitching staff, even with Max Scherzer on it, still ranks in the bottom 10 in home strikeouts. Now they're taking on a Cubbies team who holds their opponents to just 7.8 hits a game when they travel. Chicago's also in the top 10 in the majors in striking batters out on the road. Trevor Williams is 4-2 on the year with 61 strikeouts in just over 58 innings. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Chicago Cubs winning this one outright for some money line cash. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for part one. I'm talking about the Royals versus the Blue Jays, 707 Eastern first pitch. The Toronto Blue Jays are minus 215, totals 10 and a half. Ross Stripling for Toronto, Daniel Lynch for Kansas City. Now Lynch is just one and two with a 788 ERA. The lefty also comes into today's start with a 1.75 whip. Despite a really good stretch of games here recently, the Royals are still in second to last place in the AL Central. They're currently 11 games below 500. Now, the Royals are also struggling on the road. 
They've gotten the W in just 17 out of 48 road games, and that's good for only 35% in that particular category. This Royals lineup scores only 3.6 runs a game when they travel. They're taking on a Toronto team who won two out of their last three, with both of those victories coming against first place Boston. Toronto's currently leading the league in home scoring. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is batting 328 with 33 homers and 83 ribbies. The Slugger's also first in the majors with a 1.086 OPS. Meanwhile, Marcus Simeon's hit 24 bombs and knocked in 63. The Toronto lineup's leading the majors in hits on average per game. They also have Ross Stripling on the bump here today, who struck out 84 batters in just 80 innings of work. When it comes to the number in this one, Toronto's last three home games all got over the total. 26 and 18 of the over in all of their contests at Solon Field. I'm going to lean toward the Toronto Blue Jays minus one and a half and the over 10 and a half runs of that guy's. Now it's time for our quick pick recap. Powered to you by my Patreon website. I like Pittsburgh plus one and a half over nine runs. I also like Chicago Cubs winning that one outright for some money line cash. Before I give you my next and final free pick for the video, one final reminder that we are 3 and 0 in our last $3.99 daily best plays on my Patreon website. We're also 3 and 0 in our last three Major League Baseball tier package picks on that Patreon page as well. I'm going to lean toward the Toronto Blue Jays minus one and a half and the over 10 and a half runs of that, guys. Now it's time for our shout out of the day. And of course, this is from our YouTube platform. And our shout out of the day goes to G the Husky who said, OMG, I lost 100 of my Scooby Snacks gambling with this pit bull betting on the Phillies. And of course, I don't know if you're referring to me as the pit bull, but the Phillies did win game two. So uh, I'm not sure which game you're referring to. Maybe you're referring to game one. And uh, I don't know. Uh, certainly one of the more bizarre, uh, weird comments uh, on my you know comment section. But uh, anyway, I do appreciate you taking the time out to uh, you know, leave a comment, and I'm sorry you lost your uh, Scooby Snacks. Uh, hopefully you get those back today or tomorrow. But uh, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Now, guys, keep in mind, if you do end up getting a membership here today on my Patreon website, Patreon bills you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. So if you do end up getting a, a membership here today, you're going to get billed today, and then you're going to get billed again on August 1st. And, of course, after you get billed on August 1st, you're going to get access to that content all the way through the end of August. But, uh, once again, Patreon bills you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash rockpage.